Good day, my audience, and welcome once again to this channel. In this very video, we shall uh, be talking about uh, the part two of the descriptive terms used in osteology. Remember, in our last video, we started this topic, so we shall continue in this video. And then today, we shall be looking at those, these few terms again. Okay, it's going to be a very short video. And then the terms we shall be looking at include the crest, the tuberosity, tobacco, foramen, and then fossa. So we shall start with crest. And as usual, I'll be showing you examples with the bones I have before me. So the first term here is the crest. A crest is actually a roughened edge of a bone. A roughened edge of a bone. So an example I have here is the iliac crest. Okay, the iliac crest. This is, these are the wings of ilium. Wing of ilium, wing of ilium. Okay, so this is the iliac crest, and this is the iliac crest. Another example we have is the medial crest of the sacrum. This is the sacral, this is the sacrum, okay, and then this is the medial crest of the sacrum. Okay, the second term we shall be looking at is the tuberosity. Okay, the tuberosity is a large rounded non articular projection, a large rounded non articular projection which uh, could be rough or smooth on the surface of a bone, okay? And then an example we have here is the deltoid tuberosity. This is a deltoid tuberosity, okay? On this deltoid tuberosity, uh, uh, this deltoid tuberosity allows, the, allows for the attachment of the muscle called deltoidus muscle, okay? The next thing we shall look at is uh, uh, the tubercle. Okay, and a tobacco is a is actually a smaller variety. Okay, a smaller variety of the tobacco. All right, of the tuberosity. So sorry, let me take it again. The tobacco are actually the smaller variety of tuberosity. So, like on the humerus, I showed you delta tuberosity. So, let me show you examples of um, tobacco. So. On this same humerus, we have the lateral tobacco, okay, and then the medial tobacco. The lateral tobacco, the medial tobacco. Okay, this lateral tobacco is also called the greater tobacco, and the medial tobacco is called, it's also called the lesser tobacco. Okay, so don't forget the difference between the tuberosity and the tobacco. The fourth one we shall talk about is a foramen. So what is a foramen? A foramen is a perforation and a narrow passageway, okay? A foramen is a perforation, a perforation on the surface of a bone. A perforation on the surface of a bone. Now, this perforation leads to, into a canal, okay? So the narrow passageway that leads into or that leads to this foramen is called a canal. Remember in our subsequent, in our last video, we I, I talked about a canal, and yet I'm still talking about foramen here, linking it with canal. So this passageway that leads deeper into the structure is a foramen. Okay, while inside the foramen, inside the, the structure, okay, a continuation of this uh, for, uh, foramen is the canal. And lastly, we have a fossa. A fossa. What is a fossa? A fossa is a depression or a pit on the surface of a bone. Okay? It is a depression or a pit on the surface of a bone. What are examples of uh, these fossa? Now, on this same pomerus again, we have a fossa called the olecranon fossa. So this is the lacrimal fossa. Actually, in this fossa lies, or this is, uh, the lacrimal fossa allows for the enlargement of the anconeal process of the, of the ulna, okay? Especially when the elbow joint is extended, okay? So this depression here, or pit, is the lacrimal fossa. Thank you very much. I will stop here and then... Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy. 
When you have done so, click on the notification bell icon. By so doing, whenever we post videos, you will be alerted. Thank you.